Hello and welcome back to Bank and Plays Europa Universalis 4 with the third Rome expansion. We are back with the Russian expansion. And we are here in the last episode. We started a war in the Teutonic Order by bringing in some Condottieri. And we've actually pushed the war in their favor. The world has kind of gone topsy-turvy with the Ottomans doing what the Ottomans do. But then you go over here and Tlemcen has conquered just about all of North Africa. Aragon still holds its personal union over Castile. England is over here. Oh, so if you look at the uh, religion map mode, we got England and Scotland have all gone Protestant Reformed. Unfortunately, it looks like Ireland went there too, so not completely historically accurate. Protestantism is catching off over here, just like normal. Uh, Norway's gone. Oh, I hear a train outside. Norway has gone Protestant, while Sweden remains Catholic. Orthodox lands in the Balkans are still being held by the Ottomans, oddly enough, without being converted. Things like Theodoro are still alive, Shakesia is still alive only slightly, and Trebizond is still alive but being attacked by... Oh, Coptic. Oh, they... Nope, there's still a lot of Coptic Christians down there, it's okay. Trebizond is still alive and independent, that's odd. Let's look at some of the other odysseys, like... Traberistan being so big, Korea taking over most of Manchuria, even though that's pretty normal for this game. Yeah, I do hate those trains. Oh well, back to what we were doing. So, Estonia does not like me, but I don't need to get them on my good side so long as they are converting the provinces I need! I don't know why they play the horn so loud. It's for so long. You'd think after the first blow, people would understand what's going on here. I'm debating whether I should make Livonia also orthodox. Let's go in here. Let's check. Uh, Livonia. If I were to force my religion, 50%, obviously. Hmm. Naval Scootage. Eh, not a whole lot. Place relative on the throne. Instead, the Ingri family, someone from the Rurikoviches. Or seize land from them. I'll leave them for loan for now. If they're going to take over our holy land, then they should have some dignity. Meanwhile, Kiev is still being Kiev. Attacking Poland to try and take land that isn't even theirs. Let's just have a claim on. Oh well. Food shortage. Now, in the last episode, I also debased my currency, so we have a... So I built several churches. Military leader has left us. Sad times, sad times. Perhaps in here, the boyars, I could get 100 military power, or if I grant generalship and get the possibility of an aristocratic coup, uh, that could give me quite a lot of administrative power. No, military power. Military power I could use to get the last... That he could use to get the last noble connections. I think that would actually make a lot of sense. But we grant generalship. He's over. And now we demand. So now he hates us and he's loyal. Now he's angry. Group minister to try and get... No, that's influence and that's influence. Well, I can't do any of that. So I'm going to have to leave it there. Hmm. Did put us pretty high up on aristocratic power, though. That'll be good. State-appointed lay members. Administrative power for patriarch, losing patriarch authority or gaining some patriarch authority. Well, we already have our, our icon at the moment. 15 patriarch authority. Let the Holy Church be. No point really doing anything there. Just let things keep playing. Uh, I have 47 spy network strength in Lithuania. Looming disaster is going to come up. It it be like that sometimes. Let's see. What can I do over on this side? How about I build spy network with you? I could probably pull out of trying to make things work with Livonia. I already have him as my vassal. Russian ability. Still Strelsky. Still just Strelsky. Estonia is mad. Aristocratic coup is a thing, but I don't care. Ideas available. I want flutes instead. You're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, things are... Ooh, what's that? 
So where's Bergian revolters? Now that is something to worry about. I can't make it in on time, and there doesn't seem to be any good forces around, so we fall back and let Riga get stack wiped. I do like the new uniforms for the Brandenburg. Pretty cool looking. This loyalist states, the boyars, it's gonna happen. Chef Boyar D. She'll be over here. Which I can't make this war with Kiev end. So I can't make this happen. Come on, Commandant Yulian Ermelov has died. He was a good man. A national manpower modifier sounds like a good way to replace him. There's not that much though. We're gonna start falling behind on military. But Tsar Yuri the Second is not a military man. He's a diplomat. Makes sense. He's a diplomat and an embezzler. What's this thing going to? Hungary. Hungary has joined in the war too. Teutonic Order has captured some things, some stuff and things. Brandenburg. Why? Why be like that? Cossack aggression. Cossacks of steps are very rapid raiders. Bunt base tax in Voronev. We'll just let it be. Burgers and boyars lose loyalty or demand that these. Cossacks have brought the justice. Russia's opinion of Lithuania has changed. Lose base tax in Bryansk. Border friction with Lithuania. Lithuania's response is that they refuse to take responsibility for the raids. Oh, so Lithuanian Cossacks have been attacking us. That's no fun. Hmm. I feel completely justified in trying to bring down your entire empire now. Also, they're being raided. No, they aren't. Up in the north, we got Vilnius, which needs to be taken. Uh, Kostas Belai claims fabricated in Bukhara. Oh, hello, Mr. Uzbek, you are now Bukhara. What would a war against you look like? Kiev would not join, but I don't expect them to. What are your armies like? We got plenty of manpower, we got plenty of army strength. Start heading to the mountains, start working together. By the way, what does that new general look like? Oh, he's a good fire general. Come up here. Hmm. I'd be all right with the war in the, in the east. But what would this look like? I let it play, but that's not going to help. Rivals? No. Negative opinion of me. Bukata. 16,000 total troops. Well, there's nothing people could bring against me. Foreign spy detection. Loose lips. And an embezz... No, loose lips is my heir. Okay. That's his problem, then. Conversion successful. The heretics of Voronev. The true faith. The comet sighted. Uh, well, it's the economy, fools. Aristocratic coup? Yeah, at least it's still just a aristocratic coup. Its ability is less than zero, then we get time of trouble starting to happen. It's trying to brew up. So how about you? Support rebels. Smolenskian rebels. You don't seem to have any particular... Sarapolsian rebels. Lollard heretics. Smolenskian. I don't see any for... Hmm. I guess none of these provinces ha No, that's Smolenskian. And you're just Orthodox Zealots. So they've actually done a good job in keeping me out of this. Well, in that case... We'll use my spy network strength to... Fabricate claim... On... Trubis... That one... Most of the rest of this can go to my vassal. Except for this land, which I would have to either... Which I can take myself because I do have permanent claims on these provinces. That would give me to the Black Sea. Maybe give them to Kiev to safe keep. I don't know. Do something. Speaking of Kiev, I could make you a vassal, but unfortunately you're at war. A war that I seemingly cannot stop. 
I mean, I might as well go in somewhere. All this... Everything's being sieged. Things are going fine. In this war... Things to be converted. I would Orienburg. Just to keep that going. That gravy train a-rolling. Meanwhile, my army's being moved in position to take Bukhara. I would be most worried about up here. And if we are going to go to war, that means I need to turn my armies on. Army maintenance is pretty high. Anybody going for uh, some... Nope, nope. I was looking for someone who could do deal with inflation. Native Uprising. Oh, no. I won. Barely. Suffered casualties. 33 per month. Exploration ideas. Too many relations. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But I just need you to get through all this Catholic land so I can absorb you. Probably give Livonia back Dorpat. Just because. How about we go hunt down those cannon? Because this war is basically over. There's not really a reason for me to be here. Just fall back to our own lands. Army of the Ukraine. Just fall back. Bukata. There's quite a lot to take from Bukata. Just told here for now. Get some money back in the coffers. Could bring that in, but I don't want to. States, clergy. Also, I gave quite a lot of land to the burghers so that they would have some support. Uh, that... Oh. See, modifier clergy ties have expanded. Okay. Clergy. What, can you do stuff? Make generous donation to them. Seek support from them. Patriarch authority. Establish new world stuff. And eh, nothing really. Supply arms for force limit. Promote self-governance for loyalty and influence and they lose loyalty for army tradition nothing I can do to get rid of your influence other than taking provinces from you which you would huh declining power of the boyars hey as both influential landowners and traditional warriors class in our state the boyars have not fared well lately through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly coordinated power blaze the boyars have lost influence in Moskva and many have retired to the property in the countryside. And there goes the threat. Countries wish to hire Contatieri. Ooh, against Crimea now. Are you the aggressor? Yes. The, uh, the attack on Kefe. I'd find that funny. Fortunately, there's no one I really want to give you. Conversion successful, go to... Just go to the next one, please. Armies are almost in position. We got... No. Get get ready. Where is their capital and or fort? Fort's on this side. Nothing, 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 nothing. Siber. Ugan. Again. Nope. Okay, where the hell is their capital then? I see that there's a fort down in the south. Atlan... I don't really see any. Well, nothing we can do about that. My armies are pretty spread out. I think the first mission would be to bring them fairly close together, especially in this large open area. Although I think any of my armies could probably fend for themselves just fine. I am still have one of my armies held up over here. Yeah, Boyar is a bit pissy right now. If I give them any more influence, they'll take it. You? So, have a war with Bukhara. And when that is done, I can... Uh, is your war over? Ah, yes, Kiev. Be my vassal, please. There we go, full house. Not sure what that means. I got an achievement. But with that, we can declare war on Bukhara as soon as my diplomat returns. Don't really have any reason to be building spy network in Bukhara then. Yarkland, everything else are vassals. And uh, how's my... Yeah, it's still just Estonia. Confirm. Attack Bukhara. They're only... F oh, the entire north is just 
nothing. In that case, hell, even send in the army of the Ural to start sieging. Move in as soon as we start finding some enemies, we can start killing them. Salzburg is religious civil disorder. Huh, you've. That can be pulled back. Can I cancel my mission here? Evoke. I mean, I can just I can just have them pay for this army until it's done. I don't mind sitting on them. Move in from the north and from the west. Still no sign of the enemy. Wait a month, go to the next province. Gonna want to keep my armies for the most part together. You take there. Egan has been conquered. Move forward to Yugen. After you've taken Egan. Just kind of cut a path down to the south. Yeah, like that. Now I can see just about everything they have in the north. And it's pretty bare. The Arkans, they'll be coming from the south. They'll all be coming from the south. Lord Ishim. Yeah, make sure we get a strong front in the south. Go to there. Torak. Atlan. Yeah, uh, my vassals and marches can really help with all the small stuff. You go to Van. How am I? How are you guys doing? Nothing yet. Well, I'm not really doing anything else. How about uh, subject countries? Put a couple in there. Aha! I see you. That case, pull off some. This army up here will be the main sieging army moving down. Uh, I think we've caught him. I think we've caught him out. Good, we've taken Irish. Move down to Kerry. Oh, that's just a slaughter. Not bad rolls from us, not bad. Taking a province. You go to Atlan, you siege where you are. Taken Van, go to Sabir, so all of my vassals can go straight to the south. They're about to learn why Russia is the third Rome. They actually have quite a sizable force now down here. Better stick these two armies together. Probably would help to get you down here too. Russia has occupied. They're just falling back. And there is the main fort. We got um, you there. You have the siege general. So you'll move forward and take Turkestan. You can't move past it, so you'll hold and raid. You move past it. Cut them off. Cut them off. Now, oh, what's this? Some no guy separatists in the Kazan are rising up. It's a nice calm. Oh, I can t invest technology. Yes, sir. Russian ability, still just that. Ah, yes, I can take noble connections. Golden arrow, plus, minus 10%. Corruption up. Why? Why would that... What? Wait, taking things? Huh? What about my golden era? I have a tech penalty at the moment, so let's take that. Available mercenaries up. Livonia, how are my institution spread doing? Ah, good. It's starting to come to me. Through Peskov and Ostrov. And it'll spread slowly. Janic Order has cancelled their agreement. Their condottieri. Good. Head back to my own lands. Army of the Ukraine. And get ready for an easy war against the Lithuania. Russia has occupied Drazim Kaduk. As one does. You know, you can just fall back to the border again. 
We're good, so going so good. Okay, not standing for that. And with that, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, then make sure to stop by in the next episode. Bye bye.